It's the radio segment that just got rejected by Mattel for a new toy patent. Oh, oh no. Yeah, like Barbie's dream house? Uh-huh. He pitched Ken's wet dream. No. <laughs> it's Did just him just... sitting what? by the pool. Yeah. Oh. I play with that doll all the time. Uh, well, he's trying, bro. Yeah. God. Uh-uh. It's laser stories. The segment where we read weird news stories from around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser. Yeah. Those other snot dogs just don't. <laughs> this first laser story is out of Elmere, Kentucky. 35-year-old Joseph Hellard walked into his local mini-mart recently with confident exuberance. Oh. Ooh. You see, Joseph had a good feeling about the day. He was hopeful he might stumble into some riches because he'd zeroed in on purchasing his favorite scratch-off lottery tickets. Oh, yeah. right. He is a happy boy. Unfortunately for him, every single one he bought was a complete and total loser. Oh, I smell his poop. Why are we talking about oh, him? Man. Yeah, I mean, that would be the majority of people who buy them. <laughs> so head low, Joseph was on his way out of the store when he put his hands in his coat pockets and suddenly he found $10 cash oh. that he had no idea was in there. Okay. Whoa. That's always so fun. It like, is. Hey, That's like, it's like winning the lottery. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. Now, because of his earlier feelings, he made the snap decision to turn around and buy another one. Uh-oh. In fact, he ran into the store and selected a $10 100X scratcher. Okay. And in less than 30 seconds, Joseph was $250,000 richer. That is insane. I have this dream constantly. It's going to happen oh, to me. God. I'm telling if you If I was dating him, I would have like scolded him and been yeah, like, you shouldn't totally. spend the money. Like That's ridiculous. And then he'd break up with you and be like, yeah. I'm out. Bystanders <laughs> saw Joseph fall to the ground on his knees and asked him if he was okay. Oh. He told them he couldn't believe what he was seeing oh. and that the money was life-changing. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, what well, celebration may have gone on a little too long, though, because oh. a few days later he was pulled over for expired tabs, and a canine team found a smoking pipe with white crystal <gasps> substance inside. Oh, of it. oh, oh no! Oh. So what did he buy with his money, Jeff? Oh, oh at least, man! At least he has good money for a good lawyer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this next laser story is out of France. There's a French town called Massange. Mm-hmm. And they had a mystery issue on their hands. Mystery has a mystery. From midnight until 3 a.m. every day, their cellular and internet services weren't working. Uh-oh. 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 Whoa! Why? That's a. I mean, it's weird that it's just those three hours. Yeah. The local mobile company couldn't figure out the problem either, so they reached out to the French national internet security officials. Whoa! And after a few days in town, they discovered someone was using a signal jammer to block all radio frequencies. Whoa! At Ow. midnight to three in the morning? Super sketch. And they traced the signal to a house, and that's when a middle-aged dad named Philippe answered the door. <laughs> Is his wife upset about what he's been looking at online during oh, those hours? that's actually a good call, Brooke. Not quite, but when officials told him the issue, he was shocked. He explained he wasn't trying to take down the entire town's internet. Oh. He just didn't know how else to keep his teenage son from playing video games in the middle of the oh. night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So no. He said his children have become so addicted to social networks and gaming, he bought the jammer online as a last resort. Oh my god, he took down the uh, whole town. Now, while it worked, <laughs> probably wasn't worth it because jamming devices are illegal in France, oh. and he's now facing six months in jail <gasps> and a penalty of up to thirty six thousand dollars. Oh my god, and the kid's like, sweet, six yeah. months. And if you think this sounds like an amazing plan to use on your teen, think again, because they're also illegal in the USA and Canada and could get you imprisonment and significant monetary fines. Oh, wow. Wow. All the teens listening are very thankful that you added that part (laughs) to the story, Jeffrey. (laughs) This next laser story is out of New York City. A man named Eduardo Martinez from Honduras was in Times Square when the worst possible situation happened. He lost his wallet. Oh, oh. sucks to be you, man. That didn't feel good. Oh, that was that. like insult to injury. Yeah. He immediately started to panic because inside was four thousand dollars <gasps> cash. Oh my Why? god! Why? Why are you? How do you that? even close a wallet with that much money in it? The place was packed with tourists as oh. Eduardo scoured the ground on the verge of tears. Oh. It's gone. He was about to give up when he was approached by two officers, <laughs> and they told him. The wallet had been turned over by a fellow commuter who found it on the ground. Uh, After they confirmed the information, they handed it over to him. And? And that's when Eduardo opened it and found yeah. it was empty. Oh, it's too good to be true. I'm just kidding. The entire $4,000 cash was still there. <laughs> that's 
Let's go. Yeah. Wait, it was all still there? It was all there. Oh, Eduardo, I love it. Eduardo said he was beyond grateful. Wow. And that the incident highlights the fact there's still good people out in the world. Whoa. And there's wow. actually some good people in New York, too. Wow. Who knew? It's, sh- it must have been the tourist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could have been someone from there. This next laser story is out of the friendly skies. Yay, I love it here. After surveying more than 1,500 travelers, a popular website found just who were the most annoying passengers on a plane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here's the results. Number seven is the recliner. Boo! It Why? doesn't bother me. Yeah, it doesn't bother me either. Any but, person in the seat in front of you getting their full recline on mm. for the whole flight, I think it's annoying. I don't move Why? mine because I'm scared someone's going to get mad. Number six is the noisy kid. Yeah. That includes any crying babies or children. Oh, poor guys. I know in 2017, Brooke yelled at a baby on an airplane <laughs> and everybody clapped. <laughs> So good work, bro. That's not true. Keep fighting the good kids. fight. I feel so bad for the parents. No, oh, yeah, I know. Totally. Number five, the drunk flyer. Party's here. Yep, yep. That one's obnoxious. Yes. You hope they just fall asleep. <laughs> it's this entire room is what it is. Yeah, dude, I wasted. Number four is the leaner. Oh. oh. What's that? It's like when someone leans into your seat area. It drives oh. me nuts. They lean on you yes. or on the seat <laughs> rest. Sometimes asleep. they're asleep or they just are <laughs> yeah. trying to get comfy. I know last weekend, I was the little spoon on a puddle oh, jumper to yeah. Yakima. <laughs> okay. And that just started with a little lean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next thing I know. Well, if you put your seat back, you wouldn't do the lean. <laughs> exactly. Num- Thank you, Jose. I've no. woken up on someone's shoulder before. I'm saying that was a good experience. Oh. <laughs> I liked it. Number three is the loud and proud. Mm. No, 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 the Karens of the world and yeah. other passengers yeah. who are just talking rude to the yeah. flight attendants. And oh, yeah. How is that not number one? They're just, you know how much I paid for this flight? Exactly. Like, hey, we all paid for this flight. Yeah. Chill out. Number two is the stinker. Oh. Uh, Did we need a sound oh. effect? Oh. Did we? Yeah. No. I think it helped. No. It, it completed the, the visual. Play it again. It's a passenger with a bad body odor that continually happens mm. or lingers during the whole flight. Yeah. And then finally, the number one most annoying person on oh, the plane. Who is it? Any guesses? I don't know. Oh. We've gone over, I feel like, everybody. Food, oh, bare feet? On the... Oh, the bare feet. Nope. It's the kicker. Ain't nobody got uh, time for that. Oh, yeah. People hate yeah. getting their seat kicked more than anything else on an airplane. Yeah. yeah, totally. I know one guy who refuses to travel ever again. Uh-oh. Why? Only because he joined the Mile High Club on every airline, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not really a challenge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Yep. And that sound means laser stories come to an end for the day. We'll do it again. Same time on Wednesday. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.